I've taken control of my well-being and health yeah. and therefore I feel completely different about the outlook for me and family and friends over the next 20 years. Today we've got Steve Farrell, he's take, kindly taken 20-30 minutes out of his incredibly busy schedule to have a chat with us. Um, Steve worked with us a few months back now. Uh, I'll hand it over to you Steve just to introduce yourself. I mean I've already given you a name but like you know who are you, what do you do, where are you from, all that kind of stuff. My name is Steve Farrell. I'm a partner in a professional services firm, and although I, I live in London, don't let the accent fool you, I'm not from London, from the north of Ireland. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're up the northerners, so yeah. I, I, and I've lived here for about 15, 16 years now or so, uh, very busy uh, life day to day, in and out of work uh, with kids and family and so on. Um, and I've massively benefited, as you, as you know, Luke, over the last year um, on working together through the program. You probably saw maybe a post to mine on LinkedIn and I sent you a message. Um, like, what was going on with you when we first spoke? Like, you know, arguably you weren't feeling great. Like, can you give us a bit of context as to what was going on? Yeah, 26th of January, uh, Luke, because, uh, you know, in my line of work, you got to remember things uh, like this. And uh, I do d definitely remember the day. I had to put my hand up and ask for genuinely ask for help when i went into lockdown my reaction as someone believe it or not who's naturally a bit more introverted was my way through this was to knuckle down you know work every minute i could you know, power through put everything to the side through everything uh, to, to one side and just prove to everyone that i could make this through uh, uh, and that led to a increased trajectory on what I do think realistically has been a decade of decline in my own well-being. So let's let's sort of we'll jump about a bit here. That's kind of where we started, Steve, which was like 2021 um, January. Like let's fast forward to now. It's a big old time gap as well, so we can dig into the bits. Like what what has been your through the process, what do you think the, the biggest results or the you know the, the headlines that you think? Yeah, I'm proud of X, Y, and Z. My ability to accept myself for who I am, faults and all, uh, has massively improved. Um, second point, I now have an outward view of the world, which I worry less about my health and well-being over the next decade right so i i now i have taken control of my well-being and health yeah. and therefore i feel completely different about the outlook for me and family and friends over the next 20 years which is great um three my own well-being and relationships with others in and out of work was transformed i uh, that has empowered me to be a i hope a better leader in what I do in, in and outside of my, my sort of professional life. And fourth, there's no denying it, I've lost weight. Yeah. Um, and I feel a lot physically stronger and healthier. And that's it. The last, the last point is I've, I've got back on the bike, which I give up, I think as a, a few people might know, six years ago. Um, and, and that's been just re really good. Uh, overall that's some really big headlines what have been your key takeaways in how you enabled yourself to achieve that so a, a number of things that have, have got me to that process is a firstly this importance of writing stuff down uh, about how you feel in points of time is really important <laughs> um I, I think secondly this bit around a challenging yourself where you tell yourself that you can't do something so at that point in time saying well why not well why what, the, what so constantly challenge yourself to do that and for me that manifested itself in exercise you know i make no bones about it I'm, at my worst i was maybe doing 800 steps a day i mean really quite poor um in terms of my own physical well-being and therefore, this sort of bit of saying, no one's asking me to sit and smash out a hit, uh, one hour hit session somewhere at some crazy place at some crazy price. But I can walk up and down the stairs 10 times. 
And even if that's all I do, that's all I do for today. At least I've done something. You can say one thing. What was your biggest takeaway from this whole journey and process that you've gone through? Invest in yourself because you deserve it. And there are many other people who want you to do this. What would you say to someone who's considering um, working with me or, or would be intrigued to work with me? I think, it, and I think about my own lived experience in this, right? As someone who sort of looked um, and was scared, uh, frankly, to do this. Uh, we all have a fear of doing it. There's an absolute wealth of opportunity by just having a chat. Don't be afraid to put your hand up. Um, have a discussion. I reach out because you know to loads of people who've been through the program and um, the, the people who've been there and make a count is is what I would say. I uh, because there's there's absolutely no harm in it. No harm in it at all. Awesome. Thank you. Well on that note, Steve. As we discussed, very busy, time poor. I'll let you get off. Um, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. I hope it's been helpful and insightful for anyone watching. If anyone is interested in having a chat with me about what I do and how I work, like results like you know Steve's discussed already, um, drop a note in the comments. Or if you're not comfortable doing that, ping me a, a direct message on any of the socials uh, and we can have a chat and get back to you. Um, in the meantime, thank you so much, guys. Have a great Wednesday. Take care. Thanks,